Welcome to 2023. 2022 kind of flew by. Did you check off all of your New Year's resolutions this year? At the start of 2022, I decided I was going to make $100,000 with my YouTube channel. I ended up making nearly three times that. I also set the goal of retiring my small business, which has been my day job for the better part of a decade, and then pursue this whole online content creation thing full time. Well, I did that too. And both of those things have changed my life. My life has changed because of things I decided I was going to do. So if you wanna catapult yourself ahead of most people in the next 12 months, well then you need to watch this video. Maybe you're watching this just a couple of days into the new year, or maybe half the year has passed. It does not matter. There are two truths you need to internalize. First is that it's not too late to make a change in your life. It's never too late as long as you start. And two, your time is precious, so do not waste your life. Maybe you're like me. In the past, I've gone through my year just kind of going through the motions, doing what I normally do, just stuck in a routine. Strangely, for some reason, adverse to changing. But all the while, I see all these other people just crushing it. They'd be making all this money every single month. They'd be doing all these things that I wanted to do. They'd be setting these big goals and then achieving each goal one after another. And often, instead of thinking what I should have been thinking, which is, if they can do it, I can too, I just feel bad. I think, I can't do that, or why can't I do those things? And a lot of people do that exact same thing. We see inspirational things, and yet we take no action despite wanting those very things that we're inspired by. So why is that, and how can we overcome it? Well, the first thing we can do is just remember that we are all going to die, and I'm sorry for being morbid here, but it could be at age 85, or it could be next week. When you start to remember how finite your life is, you can use that to motivate yourself to take some action. You then ask yourself, should I binge watch yet another show, or should I start that business I've always been thinking about? Or should I drop everything and go to Costa Rica? Thinking about your own mortality makes that equation so much easier. So you need to ask yourself, what is it that I want? So make a list and then look at that list that you're gonna make through that lens of your remaining time. Regret is seen as this negative emotion, but it's a very useful one. And besides, I think emotions are just emotions. I mean, it's not negative or positive. It's what you do with it that makes it negative or positive. So I use regret to my own benefit. I feel like if there's something that I would be on my deathbed looking back on never having tried with regret, then I do it. For me, it's a really simple equation because we only get one life without any guarantee of its length. The next thing that you can do is just internalize this truth that if someone else can do it, you can too. If you motivate yourself to do something, then you also need to give yourself permission to go do that thing. And other people doing that thing or accomplishing that thing is permission to do it yourself. Because again, if they can do it, guess what? You can too. Does that mean you can do it as good as they can or as well as they can? Well, maybe, maybe not, maybe better. Who knows? No one knows until you try. But that's not even the point. The point is that we're all just people. So if you set your mind to something, you can do it. So the next question is then how do you actually start? Now that you feel motivated and you feel like you can do something, how do you actually get started doing that thing? Well, the answer is that you just start. Don't start big, start small. Starting a whole business from scratch is a daunting task, but just making a list of possible businesses is not. Registering a domain name is not a big task. Writing one tweet about the business you want to start is not a big task. Making a list of other businesses out there that are doing the same thing you want to do is not a big task. There's a million tiny tasks out there that will move the needle and make progress for you, but don't overwhelm you all at once. So take a big idea, a big task that's overwhelming and make it small, break it down into tiny steps. When you do that, you can make progress. Anyone can make progress. The next thing to do is just to build great habits. When it comes to achieving anything in life, it's usually built on a foundation of good habits. If you want to, for example, become a freelance writer, well, then you should probably be writing every day. Duh, right? Well, build that foundation. Start by just writing for 30 minutes every single day. Then just expand that habit and build new habits to reinforce it. Another example is I make YouTube videos. This is a YouTube video. And every single day I watch other YouTube videos, but I don't just consume. I diligently take notes on those videos that I can use to improve my own video. There are small foundational things you can do that will make you better and better over time. And then as you get better, these same habits will compound your success over time. 
Now the next thing to do is to just put in the work. Nothing in life that's worth doing is easy. At the end of the day, the thing that's going to make your year incredible and give you all the things you've dreamt of is just a lot of hard work. I know it's not sexy and I know that whatever the thing is that you want, you want it now but it's the truth. Except for a tiny, minuscule fraction of the population that truly does get success, prolonged success because of blind, dumb luck, the rest of us have to rely on hard work. And sure, you can work smarter versus harder, but there is not a single super successful person that I know that didn't put in a ton of hard work, at least at some point, to get where they are today. So that's the reality. You just have to put in the work. Well, the good news, though, is that if you do put in that work, then the rewards can be oh so worth it. When I was building this new business of mine, I was making next to no progress for six plus months. But two and a half years later, I can tell you it was very much worth all the late nights and sacrifices. After all, I get to record this video from my Airbnb here in Costa Rica. So ask yourself, how will 2023 be a different year for you? How can you take action right now to get the life you want? Maybe the life you think you want isn't even the one you really want, but you'll never find out until you actually start trying. January 1st is just an arbitrary day. It doesn't matter if you're watching this on January 15th or June 23rd. All that matters is that you start chasing whatever dream or goal that you have. Give whatever it is that keeps you awake at night a shot or start doing that thing that has you worried and afraid about lying on your deathbed never having tried it. Watch this video if you are thinking about leaving your nine to five or day job to start Start your own thing. Otherwise, happy 2023. See you in the next video. Goodbye.